Tree of Life is a great title because it, for me, it brings, you know, it's an image I find in every major religion. I've read about it when I read about philosophy and about all the religions, and I, uh, and obviously it's a, it's a key element of Darwinism. So I love the name because it, it, it brings up so much to me. It brings up nature. It brings up spirit. It brings up, um, you know, it's such an evocative image. You know, everyone has a reaction to the tree of life. They, they might think of it as just something that they see in their yard, and they might think of it as, you know, some mythical tree, or, uh, or they'll relate it to their own spiritual experience. So this movie shows the journey of a young man. Uh, we see him as an adult, and we see him as a child, remembering his childhood that uh, helps him to understand where he is now. Um, what's One of the most beautiful things I enjoy about this film is the images of his childhood. You know, um, We are in the experience of an infant when he's an infant. We see, we're seeing the world the way an infant sees a world. We are seeing the world as a toddler sees the world. Um, the camera's right there with him. And um, we, uh, <clears throat> we're taken sort of by the hand through it through a childhood that we can all relate to, whether we're that age or whether we're my age or we're any age. Um, we all remember the experiences of being young and our first outlook on the world, our experiences of seeing things that conflict with that outlook, you know, understanding um, – pain and difficulty, learn our first you know, experience of death. Those are very universal um, feelings. And uh, I believe in watching this film, um, the audience will have an opportunity to reflect on how they see the world and, and, um, and what they remember from their youth. So this character of Jack, who's trying to make sense of his world, and the and the the war in his heart, um, uh, this warring the faction of the way of uh, the way of of nature and the way of grace um, takes us through some of the things he remembers. You know, he was there when his mother learned that his brother had been killed, and he feels her pain so deeply that it catapults us into a very, very groundbreaking sequence of the film um, in which we sort of experience the history and the future of the universe. And we hear her cries. We hear her cries to the universe, which go seemingly unanswered. Um, it's a beautiful and agonizing sequence the mother is the embodiment of grace. She had to be someone who you just understood as soon as you saw her and could be quiet and you would understand what she was thinking and, and um, you know, just exuded love. And ideally, she wouldn't be someone who brought a lot of sort of uh, public history with her. So we were, we were hoping to find someone who was new and that's not so easy because people become exposed very quickly in this day and age. But uh, Jessica Chastain had been quietly working in New York and studying her craft and doing theater. And uh, our um, casting director, Francine Maisler, brought her to our attention. And it was definitely an aha moment when we saw her on tape. She just, she's just so natural and so simple and so beautiful. She embodied all that we imagined of the mother.